Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. Today we are going to be discussing Adrenaline Rush Talent in Division 2. This is a new backpack talent that arrived in TU10. I will be discussing when to use this talent, how to use it, and the synergies that can be created when using it. So with that said, let's begin. Adrenaline Rush is first and foremost a defensive talent. Anytime you are within 10 meters of an enemy, you gain 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds. It stacks up to 3 times and the cooldown is 5 seconds as well. This talent is basically an alternate version of Unbreakable or Tardigrade. Using this gives you an opportunity to cheat death once every 5 seconds and each enemy counts as a stack. So having 3 enemies within 10 meters grants you 60% bonus armor for 5 seconds. And this is evident through the gameplay on the screen. For tank setups, this is something that increases the survivability of the build. It's like layers of walls being built every 5 seconds. So in most cases, equipping this talent can mean you will not die. This is because when you pair this talent with armor regen builds, that 5 second active window is more than enough to repair cell wall regen or armor kits. Sometimes it even works like a constant debuff. In PvP, if this talent activates at the same time as Unbreakable, you will have more than 100% of your armor for 5 seconds. And when you have a build with high armor, 20% is more than enough to survive a firefight. But defense is not the only benefit of Adrenaline Rush. It can also be used offensively as a lot of people have done so far. With the chest talent such as Intimidate, you can get the bonus damage because there's always going to be that bonus armor. This also makes it a very useful pair in PvP and PvE. It becomes a way for tank players to regain that damage without changing core attributes or running things such as Glass Cannon. It also serves as a better substitute for some of the old and underused talents such as Protector. Since Protector only gives the user 5% bonus armor and has the same seconds of cooldown, Adrenaline Rush is seen as a better option for those who usually pair Vanguard with Protector. Now they're going to be pairing Vanguard with Adrenaline Rush. Most tank players who used Clutch for survivability can now opt for this one since Clutch requires you to almost die to activate. The same thing can also be said for Bloodsucker Talent. This is a talent that requires you to kill an enemy to get that bonus armor. In other words, the best things about Adrenaline Rush is going to be its ease of use. It is more practical and requires less work unlike some of these other talents. And like most talents, there is also a caveat. Adrenaline Rush requires a 10 meters to activate which means it can put players in arms way and set them up for failure. In PvP, this can be easily countered and used to lure players in. They will always look for that bonus armor which means they will always try to get closer. And because you have to get closer to enemies, this also means it's not ideal for low armor builds. Adrenaline Rush does not replace armor kits. It does not replace healing skills or other things out there. However, it gives players a second chance or a cushion to use those skills or use your armor kits. If paired with armor regen, as I said earlier, it gives the user 5 seconds to regenerate about 20% of their base armor. And that, my friends, is more than enough to get the next armor on kill or just enough to escape and get into cover. I would like to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.